What up, Hyperchange? Welcome to another episode. Earnings were out last night, but we have something way more important to cover. Um, after earnings call, Elon Musk sent out a tweet last night saying, now that FSD beta is out in limited release, the FSD price, new or upgrade, will go up 2K by Monday. So this is what we've been waiting for. FSD now not, not only going up in price by 1,000, but by $2,000 increments, a huge step change. And it's because of this reason they released this game-changing uh, feature, what we've all been waiting for, which is basically um, FSD beta, full self-driving. The car drives itself where you want to go. Now, you still are technically in charge of the car. You have to operate it, but this update has been going out to people. That's right. People are getting it. I was watching Tesla under Silicon Valley, Tesla Raj. Um, they were just freaking out on Twitter. Elon was uh, tweeting at them because they were trying out the system. I even found this video. I mean, this is really, really exciting stuff, though. People are freaking out in the Tesla community with great reason because um, it's really hard to understand if you don't have a Tesla, but I'm in my Tesla here. I just got my software update, but it wasn't the FSD, unfortunately, but it's your car gets better. Um, it's insane with the software updates. And so now Tesla, I'm on the edge of my seat waiting for this point, uh, one zero version of the software update to get the full self-driving package because, um, so I can tell you all about it. I don't think I'm, I would be allowed to film it. Um, but basically they have put this thing out in the wild. And so what this is for those people who aren't really familiar with Tesla, what's going on here is it's called full self-driving. So what it basically means is I could press a button, type in a destination on my Tesla work from home, let's say, and it will start driving me there, like literally without me doing anything. But I am still in charge of controlling the vehicle. Like it's like autopilot. It's a spaceship that I am in control of and navigating. So I'm responsible for it. It's going to tell me when it's freaking out, probably start beeping like normal autopilot. Um, but literally the car is basically driving itself. This is the aha moment. This is when people basically freak out and you know, you're seeing people on Twitter just be like, oh my God, like we're posting videos. We're picking up our friends to get donuts. Like this is the viral moment that Tesla has and screw earnings, screw how much money they used to make. What was the thought of the conference call? What was Elon Musk so passionate about? He kept thinking insurance is 30% of the value of the car. The margins we're making today are nothing to what's going to happen with autonomy. Elon Musk has been driving this bleeding edge FSD beta for months now, um, which has been going undergoing this crazy rewrite. And he knows how good this technology is. He knows how close they are to full self-driving. I mean, I spent $8,000 on the model Y I'm in right now to buy the FSD package. I love it. I locked in the price. Now it's going to go up to 10 10 grand on Monday. So my car just pretty much went up in value. I mean, how epic is that? I mean, that's insane. Um, and you talk about what Elon Musk is called the greatest asset appreciation in the history of humanity. We have over a million Teslas on the road that are level, uh, you know, capable of this over the air software update to get full self-driving. Tesla's going to enable that to, you know, hundreds of thousands of them probably by the end of the year. I mean, this is so much incremental value to your car. I mean, my car already drove itself to San Francisco 98% of the way there on autopilot on the highway. I mean, it is a game changer. It's really not like driving. It's like operating a spaceship. And if you don't own a Tesla, you don't understand this, um, but the train has left the station. I mean, I feel like I was, I was so lucky to have been able to afford FSD for just two, uh, $8,000. Now that they've uh, bumped up the price to 10,000, you know, I put out a moonshot Monday saying it'll go up to $20,000 eventually been waiting for them to start increasing the price by $2,000 increments. I mean, now it is just off to the races. And just to really simply do this equation with you, I mean, if you think about the profitability per car, you know, the traditional automotive industry margins are like 15, 20%, Tesla last quarter, 27%, they're pushing the new norm. And a huge part of that is this 8,000, now soon $10,000 software package they sell with every vehicle, extremely high gross margin, literally a computer on wheels. And this to me is the evidence that the value of Tesla's software and their improvement in self-driving technology continues to improve. You can read Navigant research. You can read all the reports about Waymo or this, who's ahead. But guess what you can't do? Get in any of those cars and experience them. I guess Waymo is starting, but really Tesla is the only one who's actually doing it in the wild. And what makes them so different and what Elon Musk was saying yesterday is it's truly a general autonomy solution. Your car should be able to go somewhere it's never driven, somewhere it doesn't know with no internet connectivity and drive. That's how good the brain is. That's not what Waymo is making. Waymo is making something that relies on maps, da, da, da. You need Bluetooth connectivity. It has to have gone on the road 10 gazillion times before. Like it's sort of like really it's like training wheels isn't even a good enough analogy because it's like 10,000 training wheels on the Waymo one versus the Tesla one is like out in the middle of the ocean with like gazillion foot waves just out there in reality. And that's what's allowed Tesla to catch these corner cases. Um, you know, them having a million cars on the road with customers versus Waymo driving around has led to so much more data that Tesla is the only company that has a shot, you know, billions of miles of data being collected more and more every day. You know, this, this phenomenon of us training the neural net every single time we disengage is, is the secret sauce. And that's why they're going to get to 
full autonomy and no one's even started the race because no one's even started collecting that data with that flywheel. So now when all you see those people on Twitter, you know, Tesla owner Silicon Valley, Tesla Raj, they're, they're driving around FSD. Every time they di disengage, that gets pinged to Elon and Andre Karpathy, their team. And they're like, why did they disengage? What did the software mess up? Let's fix it there. They're even getting the software to know when it's messing up and to self fix itself. So they don't even need humans to like fix the labeling and do all that. This incredible science project out in the wild where they put out the software update, they give it to the slowest, most safest, cautious drivers, which is really interesting. Let them uh, try it, get more data, get it better, slowly release it to more people. And so now we have this effect that is unfolding. And I wanted to make this video because I think this is going to cause so much viral hype for Tesla. It's freaking me out as a Tesla owner. Like I'm literally like checking for the software update nonstop. My other Tesla owner friends are freaking out. I mean, this is the, the moment that I've kind of been waiting for where Tesla's full self-driving isn't just this thing that Tesla owners are hyped about, but it captures the zeitgeist of culture of like, this is the coolest thing happening in tech is that Tesla's putting supercomputers on the road that can drive themselves hard, solving this hardest software problem in the world right now um, that we solved up to this point, which is creating a general autonomy, passive optical vision-based system that works in the wild. I mean, look at all these other cars, Waymo, Cruise, they have like 800 gazillion sensors on them. My Model Y is like the dopest looking car you've ever seen. It's so sleek, super aerodynamic, and it's got all that hardware built in that you need, um, and it drives itself better than those. I mean, this is, um, it's mind numbing to see the, the just level of um, experiment. I think Tesla is becoming the next great AI company like Google um, because they just have this massive stream of data that no one else has. I mean, look at any other car you're driving. It's like analog. It's not collecting any of that data um, and sending it back for analysis. The Tesla is, and this is what is its key enabling feature of, you know, that digital over the air two-way connection that allows the car to learn and improve and get better. I mean, literally it gets better. You know, I don't know if I'm, I'm reinforcing that too much, but uh, you know, for me personally, like until I owned the Tesla, I didn't get the whole software update thing. Like I knew about it. I followed it. You kind of understand it. But that feeling you have as an owner of waking up like it's Christmas morning because you got a new present because your FSD got an update. I mean, that is there's a je ne sais quoi to that that I just can't describe that is absolutely incredible. And so I think, you know, the value of Tesla in the long term is how many cars they can produce times the value of autonomy and the value of autonomy just went up by 25 percent overnight out of nowhere with this game changing rewrite release, sandbagging, downplaying. Elon Musk was under hyping it. But this is a massive deal. I mean, to me, this lets the cat out of the bag. It was out of the bag for uh, the, what they're doing with batteries. Now the cat's out of the bag that Tesla's going to win the full self-driving race. The biggest asset switch on in, you know, human history, unlocking billions and billions of dollars overnight. I mean, to me, the robo taxi business, if Tesla solves it, makes Tesla a multi-trillion dollar company. Um, the stock could be dirt cheap at these prices if they figure out full self-driving. And today or Monday is a huge step in the right direction there. So who cares about what the stock price is doing? Who cares about what earnings went up to Wall Street? We're all about the business. What's the business doing? We're business analysts, right? Well, the business of Tesla is cars that, you know, get people from A to B. Now the car gets, you know, drives itself from A to B and the way it drives itself from A to B is getting better. And so this is like such a tangible way that the intrinsic value of Tesla uh, goes up because they're charging more for FSD. They're going to make more money on it. You know, the, it's almost inherently proving that the value of the software has gone up and that the technology has improved. I mean, we're literally watching in real time the trajectory of the technological improvement and then forcefully, like what other car companies raising prices in the pandemic? Every other car company's sales are falling off a cliff. Tesla literally has sales up 30% flying out the door and they're raising the price on this FSD thing. Like it's, it's incredible. This is a moment to watch folks in an incredible case study in business history. This, this AI self-driving race. I mean, we are in the final stages here. It is heating up. You overestimate what you can do in two years. You underestimate what you can do in 10 years. That is what's happened here. We got hyped about self-driving two years ago. Everybody forgot about it. And now the technology, thanks to Tesla and Elon and Andre Karpathy has been moving at an insanely fast breakneck pace. Um, and it is getting ready to absolutely change the world. You know, soon there's going to be 2 million Teslas on the road, soon 3 million. You know, who cares when they flip the switch for all the cars to truly go self-driving when the regulator approves it. Is it 2022? Is it 2023? Is it 2024? It doesn't matter. It is going to absolutely change the world. Um, and we are we are just one step closer today. So anyway, this is hyper change um, coming at you from my Model Y. I am, I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm going to keep y'all updated. If I get this full self-driving update, I cannot wait. If you have it, let me know how it is. Hit me up. I'm so curious. Would love to learn more. Leave it in the comments below. But anyway, this is hyper change. See y'all next time. Peace.